We're going to demonstrate um, an EDC to EDC link via the Adaptive eClinical bus. On the right hand side we have a full functioning Adaptive eClinical EDC. It can actually be any other EDC, third party EDC, and on the left hand side we have metadata. The use case scenario here is that you have an international study where metadata is being used by the US based sites and the um, Adaptive eClinical EDC is being used by the uh, international sites. So we're going to go ahead and log into both sides. Of course, uh, it's not going to be side by side like this, but uh, to show you the experience and the instant data transfer. So first thing you notice that this is a full function metadata and that there is a number of studies uh, subjects here. Test 101, 102, etc. and 105. Now if I go over here and click on the subject matrix, you'll see that the subject test 105 is not here. The other thing that we want to do here is for each subject on the screening visit there are multiple CRFs and these CRFs are unique to the uh, US side. There is a physical exam CRF and a vital science CRF. On this side, the international site, we have a different set of CRFs and in fact indeed the um, physical exam and the vital signs are combined into a single one. So I'm gonna open up this one and as you can see that uh, it requires the information to be in kilograms and centimeters and the top portion of this CRF are your vital signs and the bottom portion here in tabular form are your physical examination results. So we'll go ahead and uh, go back to the subject matrix just so that we can display it. Now here we are on subject 105 and we're going to now enter this person's vital signs. Okay, so we're vital signs collective. Yes, date of measurement. The, um, this is a US based, so we are going to enter things in inches and the weight is, uh, let's say, uh, 180 pounds. Uh, the BMI would be 35.1, uh, 120 over. And the temperature is in Fahrenheit. Okay, so now the um, vital signs uh, portion of the CRF was done and we clicked save. Again, standard behavior of metadata. And we're going to go back to the screening. And now on this side, um, all you do is you simply click on this. And what basically happened here is the Adaptive eClinical bus uh, is behind the scenes is getting the data from metadata and bringing it over to um, Adaptive's uh, EDC. Now, as you can see, there was no test 105 subject, and now there is one. And it also is indicating these icons over here, if you're not familiar with the Adaptive EDC. Basically, what this is indicating is data entry has begun. And indeed, data entry did begin on the metadata side. So let's have a look at test 105. And we're going to just view it. and as you can see here, and let me open this up just so that we have uh, both sides. So again, information in the US side was entered in empirical and the Adaptive eClinical Rules Engine not only mapped the data but it also was made aware that uh, the target is in metric and therefore converted to kilograms and centimeters. Now these rules can follow any um, definition that is required in the protocol. 
So for example, if um, the body surface area calculation is something that you would like calculated in a different way, uh, that is possible too. So we're going to go to the bottom of this and again remember there was two CRFs going into one. Now as you can see here there is only one row in the examination portion of this thing and it's got the body systems and here are the drop downs and basically these CRFs are the same. Same well, we uh, are capable of uh, importing the CRFs as well so but that's for another day. So let's go in and enter a physical exam so here is uh, is cardiovascular location is um, heart finding is enlarged and let's uh, absolutely be proper here and enter this information okay and we're going to save this okay now same behavior as before going back to the subject matrix we're going to instruct the uh, eClinical bus to move the data over and to apply the rules engine uh, by the way this is all in uh, strict security uh, secure sockets so all the data is from the moment that it leaves metadata until it arrives on this side is fully encrypted. So now let's go ahead and have a look at this CRF. The information that you saw before is there. And down below a number of entries have been created, identified that there was a physical exam, cardiovascular, heart, enlarged. Now this CRF at this point may be uh, edited however you can also make it read only if that's what you choose again full functionality of the EDC so you just saw going from a full featured metadata EDC without any modifications to metadata data transfers over to a full functioning adaptive clinical EDC without any modifications you saw me click this button here to essentially trigger the data that is something that can be automated so that uh, the data is transferred over in real time.